Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, it is January 6th, 2024 and this will be my first shave of the new year. Um, as you can see, I got some growth going on. So it needs to come down. I haven't shaved since... Well, I haven't shaved at all this year yet. Anyways, so... <clears throat> What are we going to use? The, I want it, when I chose to do this shave, I figured I wanted products that just work so well for me um, that I really enjoy using and, um, you know, to bring in the new year right, or at least start the new year off right. Anyways, so the razor is my comes to us from Canada and it is the brass carve Christopher Bradley with the D closed comb plate the blade in that is a pulse silver super iridium um, on its first use um, I found a tuck I think I might have one tuck left I'm not sure um, it was thrown in a bag of blades that was sent to me and one of those uh, uh, boxes that Dennis sent me the brush is one it has a 26 millimeter knot it is this one here the razor rock beehive brush with a plus soft synthetic knot the soap is not sure if I'm holding it upright executive man by sterling this is a brand new tub also was in one of those boxes Dennis sent down and this, so this makes the second tub of executive man I ever had and the last one I gave to my brother didn't have a whole lot left kept the new tub and we'll be finishing off the shave with the Panad Club Men aftershave so let's go ahead and let's wet the brush A synthetic knot so just gotta make sure it's wet through and through squeezed out excess water give it a little flick and start loading Okay. I think that's a good load right there. Let's go ahead and wet the face and lather up. Sorry for the sound of the water, guys. Oh, forgot to grab my shave towel. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's. Oops. Got a little bit of soap flop down the handle. Here we go. Hmm, scent of this executive man is really, really good. Of course, it is a dupe of Creta Ventus, which I actually had a sample of, but I ended up dropping it and, or accidentally pulling off the little thing that went on top to spray it, so...
one time I had an actual Creed Aventus, even though it was just a sample, I screwed it up. All right. Got a decent amount of lather there. Um, have a new subscriber. I hope I got it right. Andrew loves anime. Can't remember if there's a number hooked to that or not. But um, he ended up commenting on my last video. Thank you very much. If I messed it up, I will correct it by putting it down in the comments. So, welcome to the channel, Andrew, or Andy, I forget which one. Anyways, first pass with the Grove. These carved Christopher Bradley is just such a nice razor. Efficient. There we go. And this razor, it's now I know the blade gap on this D plate is like up in the eights. So, I mean, very efficient, yet just such a smooth shaving razor. Lots and lots of whiskers out, guys. Loosen the cap a little bit. Okay, guys. That's the first pass down. Let me rinse off. Yeah, I probably had a week and a half growth. I'm be going against the grain here on the second pass. Because the way it cuts my videos down. Hang on, guys. Yeah. For slickness and cushion and all that, you can't go wrong with a um, sterling soap. I mean, sterling is as successful as it is, you know, because Rob and Mandy, they offer good products. Um, great soaps. I got one badger brush from them. It's really nice. I like it. Um, I still want to get to Kong eventually. Just to say, I got it. I got the Hulk from Razor Rock, so might as well get the Kong from Sterling. Alright, against the growth, guys. 
carve is just mulling through it nicely. Thinking about actually maybe getting this rhodium plated. At least nickel. Jerry Pleasy on the Facebook group Shave Dad. I think he did that. He said his car works great. I get shave soap on my fingers. It's not like it ain't a messy thing. Here we go. So, how was everybody's New Year and Christmas? I hope it was good. I hope you guys got lots of things you wanted. So. Trying not to take out my mustache here. There we go. Anyways, I'm going to rinse off here and I'll be back. We'll do the alum. Alright guys, that is a really close shave. Hang on a sec, got a little bit of soap on the side of my neck. There we go. Alright, so wet the face. Alright. Now, we will grab the alum block, Razor Rock alum block. And there we go. Not too bad, sting wise. I mean, it got close, so it's going to have feedback. Uh, yeah, there we go. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead, cut away here, buzz my dome, or shave my dome with the leaf, triple blade razor, and I will see you all back here for the post shave. Oh. All right, guys. Happy with how the stash came out. I do need to trim it up a little bit down here so it don't get too wild and funky. But got the mustache done good. I'm happy with that. Um, face, nice and freaking smooth. A uh, little bit of a spot right there. I'm not going to go ahead and worry about it. Um, but normally I wipe those out. But I'm not going to worry about it. I don't want to overshave with the razor. Anyways, so let's take a look at the gear. Oops, let me pick it up. The razor I used for the face was the car of Christopher Bradley with the um, standard bar D plate, closed comb D plate. Absolutely wonderful razor. Absolutely love it. Um, you know, it's one that's never going to leave the den. That's for sure. Had to move a couple of razors along recently. My Timeless Bronze and my Rockwell. But I will get them back. Uh, but that, that, that carb ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Anyways. The Leaf Triple Blade Razor for the head. The brush was 
My Razorock 26 millimeter, I believe it's 26, 26 millimeter beehive brush with a Syntec Noir knot, which is a Plusoft knot. And the soap was um, Sterling's Executive Man. So let's go ahead and let's do the post shave, get some witch hazel. Oh, and the blade was a pull silver super iridium on its very first use. A little bit more. There we go. Put this back. The bomb. We'll use that. Which one it is? Not sure. I believe it's the dub. I could be wrong. All right, got my hands. Time for the aftershave. There you are. Panad Clubman. I gotta get another bottle of this stuff. It's got the janky, not a restrictor, restrictor. Got some burn, but oh, 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 the smell is so, so wonderful. If you ain't tried Panade Club Men as an aftershave, get, pick it up, give it a try. One of my faves. And <clears throat> once again, thank you for subscribing. Um, Andrew or Andy loves anime. Um, for anybody who has subscribed as of late, oh, Presley Car Enthusiast, um, he just changed his handle. It used to be Rear Derailer Tutorials, so that's him. But, anyways, um, y'all take it easy. Likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. And I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.